So how long does it take to fill your swimming pool with water? If you've just replaced your liner and maybe you're refilling your pool or you have a new one, you may be wondering how long is it going to take to get the water filled back up? Well, that's going to depend on about four factors. The width of your pool, the length of your pool, the average depth of your pool, and of course the flow rate, the water pressure you have. Once you know these things, the gallons per minute that your water hose is pumping out, then we can easily determine approximately how long it's going to take to fill your pool. And I'll send you to a website where you can enter that data in. So first, what is the length of your pool? Now if you have a circular pool like this one, the width and length are going to be the same thing. Now since this is a 24 foot round pool, the width is going to be 24 foot and the length is going to be 24 foot. However, if you have a rectangle pool, your width and length may be different such as 20 feet by 15, 24 feet by 10, it could be various things. Once you know those two things, then you'll be good to go. If you have multiple length and widths, then you just kind of got to average that together. Next, determine the depth of your pool. Now in this pool, it's the same all the way around. This is a 52 inch pool, which fills to about 48 inches to the top. If you have a pool that has multiple, like a shallow and a deep end, you need to average that. So for example, if you have three feet in the shallow end and eight feet in the deep end, maybe your average water depth is six or seven feet, and that'll be your average water depth. And last, we need to know your water pressure. So what I recommend is you get a five gallon bucket and then go ahead and hit a stop, uh, stopwatch, time how long it takes to fill the bucket, and then you divide ever how many seconds it is by five and that will give you how many gallons per minute your water is flowing then you will simply go to my website which i'll give you in just a moment to figure that so we're out we're going to go ahead and time how long it takes to fill a five gallon bucket timer started And time. It took about 38.45 seconds. We'll go ahead and round that up to 38 and a half seconds. So now we know how long it takes to fill a five gallon bucket with this water pressure. And of course, water hose does matter. So use the water hose you're going to be using when filling the pool as well to get the most accurate no reason to waste good water like this. Go ahead and join me as I go to the computer and I'll tell you what website to go to. We're going to enter the data and find out just how much time it's going to take to fill the pool. Now, go ahead and type in easyclearpool.com slash fill calculator in your web browser and bring up this nice page telling you how long it's going to take to fill your swimming pool. It's got some nice information you can read about the one gallon method, the five gallon bucket method, a little bit about your gallons per hour, but if you scroll down a ways, you're going to find a pool calculator, and this is where we need to be. Whatever you uh, filled your five-gallon bucket and the seconds were, you need to divide that by five, and that's going to get your gallons per minute if you used a five-gallon bucket. So it took 38.5 seconds. Divide that by five, and I get a number of 7.7 gallons per minute. So you'll put whatever you got based on how long it took you to fill the bucket divided by five in that field. Next, enter your length and width. If it's a circular pool, it's going to be the same most likely. Mine is 24 by 24. Then enter your average water depth in feet. So my average water depth in feet is about four and a half feet. So you'd type in 4.5, you're going to get your gallons per water, 
of, or gallons of volume of water and how long it's going to take to fill the pool with the water hose tested with the five gallon buck method. And this should be pretty accurate. It's showing 15,292 gallons of water. That'll come in helpful whenever you're adding chemicals. You'll know how many gallons of water is in your pool. You're also going to know if it's empty, how long it's going to take to fill your pool right at 33 hours. That's more than one day in my backyard to fill that pool. And if you have a much larger pool, it could take multiple days. And if you have a much smaller pool, it could take less than one day. You could also add a second water hose. It might increase just a little bit. You can test that with the five gallon bucket method. If you have two hoses and see what your new gallons of water per minute is. Of course. That's pretty much it. Now you also get some other advantage out of this because knowing the volume and how many gallons is in your pool, it's going to help you make easier decisions whenever adding whether you're using the bleach formula, whether you're using chlorine, needing to adjust your pH and alkalinity levels. By knowing the volume and gallons in your pool, it's going to help you make decisions when it comes to adjusting particular chemicals and adding it to your pool. Well, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and of course hit that little ding bell icon. That way you'll get notified whenever I release videos. And you guys have a great day. My name is John Barry from Barry's Pool on YouTube.